What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is the night of my rehearsal dinner and I'm so excited. I'm getting married tomorrow. I am in Mexico. If you are new here, let me show you my view right now. So this is off of my balcony. It's so pretty. And I thought I would just sit out here and get ready on camera, show you guys what I'm using and talk to you a little bit about how I'm feeling all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every week. I did take a couple weeks off just to, in preparation for my wedding, but usually on regular circumstances, I post two videos a week. So I'd love to have you stick around if you want to subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into it. I'm wearing the cutest robe. So we had um, a travel agent help us out. Her name is Carrie with Beach Fun Vacations and she did such an amazing job. And when we got here, she had these robes waiting for us. They're the hotel robes, so they're like sweatshirt robes, but she had our names put on them. And then on the back, she had Mrs. Moorhead put on the back of mine and Mr. Moorhead put on Brad. So I thought that was so, so cute of her. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing my robe, I just washed my hair, and we're gonna get into this makeup. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with makeup tonight, um, just because it's so humid here. I don't really want a lot of coverage, and my skin is looking pretty good right now. I do have on moisturizer as prep, and so I'm just gonna be using the Face and Body Foundation from MAC Cosmetics. It's a really, really nice skin tint-like thing, um, and you can build it up to like medium coverage, but I'm just gonna use it as more of a sheer coverage. And I have a wet beauty sponge here from Morphe. I'm just gonna put it right on there and kind of spread her around. No, I might have used a little much. It might be medium coverage after all. And like I said, it shears out. So if it looks a little dark for me, it'll even out. So I'm just gonna be blending this in. And I just love how it feels. It's very, very lightweight, but it just evens your skin out so well. And it's good because um, on vacation, I usually put a lot more sunscreen on my face and my neck um, than my body. And so, I like how it kind of evens out my skin tone as well. Oh, I love hearing the waves as I get ready. It's so nice. So yeah, we are in Riviera Maya, Mexico right now at the Unico Resort. And it has seriously been like a dream. Um, so if you guys don't know, if you're new around here, Brad and I have been engaged for about two years now. And we were supposed to come get married last year. Obviously that didn't happen. Um, so it's just so surreal that it's actually happening because we've had to wait for so long. It's like almost felt normal to wait at this point. So it's really, really crazy to finally be here. And like the pictures are stunning and they don't even do it justice. It's just so beautiful here. The staff is so, so nice. The food is amazing. Our room is stunning. Um, we are vlogging this whole thing. so. Um, the vlog will be up after this video, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can see when that goes up. Um, because we will be vlogging everything, we'll show the room there, all that, that kind of stuff. So, it's been amazing. Um, and I'll put like the resort details down below as well as my travel agent details in case you're looking for a little trip. So, next up I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is shade light, and the face and body was C4, um, in case you were wondering. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Let's do a little bit of that, boom, boom, boom. And then put it there. Perfect. And I'm just gonna blend that in. So we have about we didn't have a lot of people come out. It's mostly just family um, and then my maid of honor and her fiance. So we have about 20 people total. And then we have, um, we flew out our amazing photographer, um, Carrie, she's amazing. And so total we have 22 people, including me and Brad. And for the rehearsal dinner, the restaurants here, um, I think some of them are lower capacity because we tried to make a reservation for all of us like for the dinner after we rehearsed and they would not allow us to have a group of 20 people so we had to do 10 and 10 and there are two restaurants that there's like a breezeway and then there's 
one restaurant on this side and one on this side. So we're having 10 in one and 10 in the other. One is a Mediterranean restaurant. The other one is Mexican. And so we're, Brad and I are just gonna float through both of them and just kind of visit everyone, eat a little bit of both. Um, so yeah, it, it should be good. But I just think it's kind of funny that they couldn't put us all in one place, but it's totally fine. I completely understand. And that way we get to try two different kinds of food. So I'm really excited and I'm so excited about my outfit, which you guys will see. It's stunning, it's white, it's from this guided, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. So that's kind of the lineup for tonight. And then there is also a little like loungy type of place. I think we might go there for a couple drinks, but I wanna be in bed by a decent hour because obviously I have a big day tomorrow. So I'm really excited. I'm also like, I'm honestly, I go back and forth, like, I don't know if this is relatable, but I feel like I'm kind of a high maintenance person, but I'm very chill. So like, I want things how I want them. Like, there's no hiding that, but like, once I'm there, I'm very calm. So I have no like nerves for tomorrow. I'm, I'm not anxious at all. I don't know if it's because like I have a smaller group and I'm super comfortable with all of them. So like, I don't have the need to be nervous. Whereas if I had like maybe a hundred people, I might be feeling nervous, but I don't get that at all. I'm just excited and I'm just like relaxed. And I think that it has a lot to do with my environment, why I'm so relaxed. And the staff has made it so easy for me. Like literally Brad and I just have to show up. So I honestly wouldn't ask, I couldn't ask for better. Um, and I'm just feeling really, really good. So sometimes I am kind of an anxious person and I, I didn't know how I'd be feeling. So I'm really, really glad that I'm at peace because the couple weeks before we left, I was very on edge. I think it might be because I was traveling out of the country for the first time I've never been um, anywhere but the US. So that might've been why, I don't know, but I'm totally, totally good now. I think I just needed a couple days by the pool and I'm good to go. I'm feeling very ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and, sorry, I didn't tell you guys, I'm setting my face right now with the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. And I'm just patting that in um, around my nose and under eye with my beauty sponge. Just kind of working it in there. And it just looks so smooth, I love this stuff. So, so good. I'm just gonna put a little bit between my brows. Guys, I literally got so many services done, like on my like beauty services done before I left. I was trying to vlog it for you, but literally like, I was just in such honestly like a bad mood, like just like anxious, like I don't know. I think again, traveling and all that, but like I just couldn't. I tried to vlog it like a million times and this wasn't working out. Also my car broke down while I was gone and um, I was, or not, while well, I was gone before we were about to leave. And so I was dealing with that, the stress of everything else, trying to pack, trying to get all the last minute stuff. So I just like was not in a headspace to film or vlog or do anything. And for my mental health, I just had to like take a couple weeks off filming and just chill. But anyways, I was just saying, <laughs> I didn't need to go into all that. I didn't need to go on that tangent, but I got so many services done. I got my hair done, which my car broke down after my hair appointment. I got my lashes done, which they look so, so good. Brows done. I got a facial. I got my nails, toes. I got a Brazilian for the first time, which was literally so painful, but so worth it because it's been like four days and I have not had to shave at all, which I've never experienced that before. So I think I might start getting them from now on. Even though it is a bitch to get it, it is honestly so worth it and I'm really glad I did it. So just like for being at the pool every day, like it hurts so bad to shave that often. Like it's just not normal. So I'm a fan, definitely gonna get it again. And Anna that, who did mine, she did such a good job. If anyone's gonna do a Brazilian, it's her because she, she made it funny. Like I was dying laughing during it. She made me really comfortable, so shout out Anna for that but yeah I feel like that's just so many appointments like I'm usually not that much of a 
I usually don't get that many services done. I usually do my own nails and I get my hair done and that's about it. So it was honestly, it's nice to have everything done, but whew, it's kind of exhausting when it's all happening at once. I'm just bronzing up my skin with the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. It's kind of a heavy MAC day, but MAC stays on and it's hot out here, so we cannot be playing around. So I'm actually gonna move you guys over here because I think the lighting might be better. Oh yeah, you guys can see me a lot better now. There we go. Is that good? I'm a little closer. There we go, guys. Is that better? I guess I can't, you can't really tell me. I hope it is. So Brad and I, like I said, we got here Wednesday evening and we are leaving on Wednesday morning. So we're here for seven nights, which I'm so excited about. Most of our family is going home Sunday and Monday. So we will have a couple days alone. And I think one day we're going to do like kind of an excursion and go to what is called a cenote. And it's basically like an underwater, not really a cave, like I think it's a sinkhole. I'll put a picture of one here, but I think we're gonna go to one and it just looks so beautiful and so fun. And we just didn't really wanna miss out on that opportunity. And it's like 20 minutes away from our resort, which we looked at it and thought it was like two hours away, but it ended up being closer. So I think we're gonna do that and then maybe go to like a beach club in Tulum one day, cause Tulum is not very far at all. So we're thinking about doing that um, just because we really want some beach time because we can't be on the beach here because of the seaweed. So um, we want to find somewhere to go hang out at the beach and that might be a good option. But the only thing is this is an all-inclusive so I feel kind of like, not bad, but I feel like, I mean we already paid for everything here so like that's the only thing. but. I think it is worth it for something like that because it's just so cool and such a good experience. So I think we might do that one day. I don't know. And, it, and I've always wanted to go to Tulum and um, it'd be a good way to see if we like it in case we want to come back and stay there. So that's kind of what we're thinking. Um, and we'll either do that Sunday the day after the wedding or Monday. So it'll be really fun. Just adding some blush. This one's Becca Amaretto. So it's Amaretto, I think. It's an old shade. It's not available anymore, but um, I always link everything I use, and if something's not available, I link something that's similar, and I'm really good at finding like pretty good shade dupes, so there is one down there that looks the same, I can guarantee you. I'm just kind of going over everything with my beauty blender just to make sure we are all blended out, don't have any harsh lines, all that fun stuff. So, I'm just gonna take this. I don't have any product on it, but I'm just cleaning up the edges. My skin is doing really well here, guys. I had um, a little bit of like an eczema rashy type of breakout last week too, which is another reason why I wanted to get a facial because um, she really calmed it down. And she did like, she put crystals on me. Like she could tell I was stressed and really like went above and beyond to give me some calm moments. So shout out Annie, she's amazing. And yeah, it was just really good. And my skin ever since has been doing so well. So I mean, yeah, I'm just thriving out here, guys. I'm putting some MAC brow gel that has a little bit of a tint to it, but nothing crazy. And that's all I really need because I have really thick eyebrows. That's really it for brows. I have a clear one too, but I like to do this one at night for a little more something something. Like that. I think for eyes, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm just gonna take my bronzer and just run it along my crease. Maybe. Oh wait, my brushes are in a different bag. Duh. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this brush and just add a little to my crease just to warm it up. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it kinda light. I mean, for me. I usually wear like full coverage and 
eyeliner and all that kind of stuff, so keeping it light for the beach. And then I'll just add some to the bottom as well, that same brush. Alright, I think I'm going to add a little bit more blush. I want more pink pinkiness, so I'm going to grab Kylie Cosmetics Batty on the Block and add a little bit of that just for more pink. I like a really rosy cheek. Alright, now I'm going to grab some Prosecco Pop by Becca and just add that to my brow bone and inner corner. I forgot to do this when I did my makeup yesterday and I felt actually naked. I was like, what is wrong with my face? I like kind of put my finger on it and then I went to the bathroom and I was like, that is what it is. It's, it's my lack of highlight on my eyes, which is so like such a minuscule detail, but honestly it makes all the difference. It just like really makes your eyes pop and just brings everything together. I've always said it's like my favorite part of makeup. Oh, there's Bradley. Hopefully it doesn't change. He does. Okay, good. But he's about to get naked. Love it. And then, oops, I dipped it on my bronzer. Okay. Add a little bit here. And here. Hi, Beans. Hi. I said to the camera, I hope he knows I'm filming. What is that? I got you on my buddy pizza while oh, you wait. Wait, did I just see your penis? No. Yeah. Okay. That is so sweet. Mm, Thanks, baby. Wow, what a gem. I didn't tell you. No, you did not. It's so pretty. Look at this. Will you share it with me? No. Ooh, did you get your own? Because I got it. Yum. You can tell here with me. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Yum, guys, it's turning into a mukbang. I'm almost done with my makeup anyway, so awesome. I will show you guys how I do my hair and everything like that. Um, so don't you worry. What else, what else do I need? Oh, I need underneath mascara and lips, and I think I'm done, guys. I'm going light-handed. So I had this L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I'm just gonna add it to my bottom lashes because I have my top ones done. Gorgeous. And then I'm just gonna spray my whole face with this Milani Make It Last. You can't believe you got the pizzas. You're the bomb. Yeah, I am. And I'm just gonna pat this in. Pat, pat, pat. Tell us how it is. The light. Everybody knows the rules. And then I'm actually going to go over top of that with Urban Decay because we're not playing around. We want this to last. Well? It's so good. Yeah? Cheese on everything here is just so good. Queso? I can't believe you got me margarita. That's like my fave. I'll take that big bite right there. Okay. Oh, ah! do it. I know, but it's falling off. So You're right. Something else, man. It's so good. Thanks for getting that for me. Okay. Um. Then I think all I have left is lips, which I'm not gonna do because I'm eating a pizza. So I'm gonna finish my pizza, and then I will come grab you guys for hair and outfit. So we'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so I just went ahead and finished getting ready. I was gonna show you guys how I did my hair, but it's just a ponytail because it's honestly so humid and frizzy that I wasn't gonna attempt anything else. So ponytail it is, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. Sorry, it kind of got dark, so the lighting's not amazing. We're doing our best here. Okay, so for my top, like I said, this outfit is from Misguided. This top is so cute. It's like a little crop. I love that it has like the asymmetrical sleeves and then it zips up the back. And then for pants, these definitely needed to be altered a little bit, but I didn't have time. Um, so we're working with what we got. They're just a little bit too big. They're a size six. I definitely needed a four. And it's annoying because I had a four in my cart and I decided I would need a six, but whatever. So this is what they look like. They're just really cute white trousers. They're long. And then I have this chain belt with it. And then my favorite part are the shoes. Right here I have my something blue. These are Liliana and they're so cute. And I had to have something that high um, because the pants were a little bit long. Here, let me hold on and show you. They're so cute. They kind of lace up the front. That's what they look like and I love them. And then I have this vintage bag right here. Really cute rings. And that is it. I have my hoops and we are ready to go. Brad, mm -hmm. do you wanna show your outfit? Sure. Okay. You look so good. Thank you. What we got? Am I taller than you? Nope. Nope. Oh, you look cute. What do you got? I got... Come on, come on, yeah. Uh, my jacket is ASOS. ASOS? This was going to be my wedding jacket, but then the oh, pants yeah. turned out to be see-through, so that was kind of problematic. Yeah, but that's a good jacket. This is a great jacket. Yeah. Uh, and then polo shirt underneath and navy striped pants. Or, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said striped pants. <laughs> navy H&M pants. pants. And... Ooh, back it up. Got the Gucci's on. Yep, so cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this Get Ready With Me. Thank you so much for hanging out as I did my makeup. And if you want to see more of our trip, make sure you're subscribed so you can see the vlogs and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Come here. Wish us luck tomorrow. And we will see you in the vlogs. Bye.